This is Making Moves. And we're 50,000 rand to invest in a business. 11 entrepreneurs will come face to face with our panel of judges to pitch for this investment. I'm not convinced on where you're wanting to spend the money. Your business could be in line to win this grand prize and our money in the bank seat. Your business could be operating from home, the streets, or at a fancy office. No matter, from a bicycle. Oksalayo, we are looking for you. Only four entrepreneurs will make it to the final episode to pitch for that investment. Watch Making Moves every Monday, 2 p.m. on SABC One. Zanzi for show. Designs were a manufacturer of contemporary rustic industrial uh, furniture and decor. We're talking in, uh, indoors and outdoors. What's unique about this company is um, when you do the manufacturing, there's a customized experience between the client and the manufacturer. What is the cost saving that you will make as a business if you had a table saw? Um, Matsubani, you do understand you're pitching for investment. Yeah. Yes, I Did am. Did you understand that before you came on the show? Show. Show. has the ability to give your home character. Young South African furniture makers are emerging with cutting-edge designs that are futuristic, contemporary, with an African touch. Sikri Teusu, Wino Matsubani Kubuse Studio Saki. Lapo kona sibono msebenzi omusio, yanagi ya wenzai. Gemfaka logo sakoku sana na e, guze sazi gabanzi, ugu chioso mapizi, nisa basa fufusa, abasebenza guona lumkaka lona guona. Bapikana na mapi ama challenges mitla na malanga. My name is Matawani Kubuzi, founder and owner of Kubuzi Designs. We specialize in the manufacturing of furniture pieces from your contemporary, rustic and industrial. What makes us unique is that you get a personalized experience between client and manufacturer. If you're looking for us, you can find us on Twitter, Kubuzi Designs, Instagram, Kubuzi underscore designs, or you can visit us at our workshop in Pretoria East Savannah Country Estate. what makes this business unique background ya komatsubane is totally different from lento osebenza kiyo na nje manje ufunde izinto lezi zizobonjiniela lezi zinzima kakhulu u design ezinye izinto ke ngapha how did that come about kaspan uh, i've been looking for jobs like a plier here and there um and the first two jobs i get degree lengi ni sa khotsa fatsa that much but never job was pane ke span you know ka mphoya ba langa wona mara in time it is a hobby thing. Kintu ne gidi alabraga le my relatives now and then. Kijere snape me making a gate. Then muto mwa vuna snape sa kona rawa. Kau ndiye le gate. All the way in Atrejivol. Ne gira polo kwa ndadi gate. Yes. So drove all the way to uh, came to Pretoria, Atrejivol. Ne gira baraka from the house next door. Gidi a gidi a gate a kona. Major loss was a lesson worth learning. Mm -hmm. And then after gate a we katwala pele ke posted ne penyana ke so and then people started what to me long kwa go khopela hore ke ke and uh, it all came down to people are willing to pay me to do my hobby so mm. it's an stop, stop applying yeah. for jobs i i made it a business small business in the garage mm -hmm. and then i only made it official early last year ke mo ke spana langi 
Uh, when it's still under construction, no ceilings and stuff, but the, the entire um, shell of the house has been built. Yeah, that. Mara, you has been vacant. All the rooms are empty. Well, this is Mara. Yeah. Before getting another money, you are. Uh, 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 okay, so uh, uh, specialize on that. Yes, sir. You must be in the school or in that. I'm going to be like a craftsman. Yes, sir. Uh, from the mechanic or uh, building, building the uh, wardrobes, um, pan- painting and sanding the MDF, um, welding tables and uh, different structures for industrial design mm-hmm. furniture. So I'm going I'm a carpet. I don't just work with wood. Mm-hmm. It's concrete for concrete furniture. It's steel for industrial furniture. It's wood for your rustic and painted uh, uh, pieces. So that's what you are specializing, like. I- that's what I do. Like uh, anything that I can look at that has those materials and I can do, I mm-hmm. will do. If funding in the starting a business, if funding is not you're looking at the immaterial, the machines, the technology, the technology. That comes up to your mind. Because when I come to my own, I get to meet someone. Eh, if you learn honesty system, the client jaga were willing to pay for everything that I was doing. What I'm at home, I'm not going to tell them. So as far as funding, it's Amaya. The only funding that I needed was for me just to live in Pretoria and still. So. Um, the client has to pay for the for the material to be made, mm-hmm. so I'm going to build it from their money, mm-hmm. and then I'm going to deliver it from their money. And what uh, look at a product I want? Everything I want to buy, young. So now I can I can get such product I want. Now it's part of like a one. Ah, kubuzi design ndo mufanga kuli kiyanga ndo shima na iamsko, omu itarambete, and then I'm for the contact za kubuzi and na kono muwa na ina kubuzi. Uh, compact, uh, shenda sifune sanga compacta mende wana kakubuzi nur aina zi drawer ito wana zi openings so wakono wea zi basket gango umu wapalaka zi openings and it's easily accessible and it makes the room looks very nice dinga recommend uh, services ya, ya, ya kubuzi to, to, to other people because number one u professional and if it's delayed he's very honest to learn wuzura i'm not going to deliver this time and I'll, I'll rather come this time and that's why i would recommend because that's what you need you need someone who's very honest and professional and i found that from him so come okay room and way moke byange well this piece thing so ya chinja chinja gore ka mogidi ya ka magidi mara for now ke mogidi le ngi di boards je di lengwe di cut uh, yeah. mm-hmm. for most of the painted items. Oh, okay. So, so do we uh, put it together, fill, we send, uh, we prime, uh, we send that or make sure it's smooth. I want to the whole thing is necessary. And we fetch more, we bend the color, color, like that. Yeah. So, it only like a little business like comfort when I need it. Can like we learn more from? Can I get plan and break it away before the robber like a kid with a fast and a job or a droya or a drain like a gang so I can you a so I can get a gun body can I get the end cut you were so you can let it cut a key mail like a can I live but why we do well and better can part time that's that's kind of scary first off for me because yeah. you're one man show you are inside of your business. If you don't know those things that you're talking about, yeah. I don't know how you know that you have a business. Umatubane yena ukulele ekaya el nomteto otrinin. Lapo kuna ekulisa ngu mzalo yetwa, ongu tisha, omunye, ongu makeniki. Abazalbaki, ibona ke futhi lapha behlezi bemqhuquzela ngokuthi yena enze umsebenzi okusebenza ngezandla sichithe isikhathi saxoxisana naye ke lo mbhimu lapho ekhona ke sichazela kabanzi ngemvelaphi yakhe nokuthi yena ukukhumbulani ngokukhula kwakhe esishirho Someone is a bubbly, outgoing person. Kimu tholor ne orata monate, orata ipsina la bakhotsa, orata ipsina la rena. Kimu tholor a thinki kora hanjwa che mo pilong ba ga ipsina ga upelo. Aki boni aina le diluchi lor diamu imela. He's just a genuine person. Like what you see is what you get. Lerena ko 
family nyagaro pano muriga da es cousin nyaga waga la rono pila logone here na le an event or something uno pila logone so then now my family pano muriga da es part of the family that's how friendly he is. Papa gani le mechanic, mama gani le teacher. Um, obviously, I'd next have one of my and Chimara. Now I'm too sure I'll home again once and then. Matuano Oje, uh, Malapin Lauluka Kudu, in the sense is his, his father is very strict. Ranger Leguaraiqua, Bows not choice, Bow close on Lago or Santu to Chicago Luxury Kulu. Jojo Ranger Rolari Asco Longo, Wasco Longari Saturday, Gadi Santa, eh, Wagreke. I was going to go to the bicycle and I was going to go to the bicycle. I was going to go to the bicycle. When I got strong enough, I was going to go to the bicycle. 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 I was going to kadi weekend meriko mo nyane go change brake pads go change oil go change oil filter ke meriko e le gore no bo dira ke matsobane le rena ka gae gore ne re ba thushe gore ba gono bere ka meriko ba go fetse ya na ba no phela a zama zama to to make ends meet gore yena ba no phela dira plan ya chalete so Ranger the Radio Jonatica Jadi Furniture Design, there was a point where by Guru no one or people uh, wanted him or uh Abadrela something and they were willing to pay him for it. He just told me the just just one day or more, this is what's happening and it we did. And then go get as I know him. Went for it. Can I very strong person? I gave I gave I go kopi shiki dilo tirinyane so if ke dia selo ba ke dile selo ba if if ke ke pele na situation and ya go ba ja and then ya crapla for a time i will come back up uh, as soon as i if 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 ke bona gore mo ke na laba ka ke tlo go if go na le ka mgong ga eng ga ilo kisha ke tlo ilo kisha ne ke tlo go la le yona ke I get to give to Umuwa and to Umuwa on driver. Abawa Kubuzi Bonabenza e Fenisha e Asuga Sugen, which is handcrafted, contemporary, with an African flame. Lily business, a little silver corner in Minyaga e Min. Go to Agi. I will call Gulu Kulu Mundu Anga Shongaloge, Umaguza Gulona Gutis and Kulianganan. Nanam Saji Lily business, Lily Disapeto and Gumuntu Oyeto. Just arrived at Baking Moon Studios. I'm looking forward to meeting Okela. Don't really know what to expect from this, but I'm really grateful and looking forward to the exposure. Thank you. The markets have responded to Matsobane's product, and there is a huge demand. This presents the opportunity for him to grow the business in the market. To do this, he would need a strong team backing his vision. But unfortunately, he's a one-man show. Let's welcome him to the show. Welcome. Hi, Okana. Welcome to studio. Thank you. So obviously now you're running quite an industrial operation in a residential area. And that must present its challenges, one, to the business, and yes. two, to the other the people, people living the around, yes. So tell me about the challenges that you have inside of your business because of operating in that estate. Um, well, the people that operate in that estate, uh, luckily, there's still a lot of construction going on. Okay. So there are machines that go above and beyond the noises that I make during okay. the day. Okay. I just make sure to abide to the rules that nothing, no noises before half past seven okay. and no noises after five, six ish in the afternoon. Your business is unique or the business that you've cho chosen has yeah. chosen to attack many multiple streams. Okay, so one you're producing and then two you're going directly to this market. Yes. So you have to have access to this market. There's people who just produce. 
And then after they've produced, the items sit in some shop somewhere and that's it. Yeah. But you're deciding to go directly to the market and you're operating for resi from a residential place that isn't particularly occupied. So that tells me that there isn't much foot traffic or people to see and expose your business to its potential market. What's your plan around marketing and letting your customers know who you are and what you do and the quality of what you do? Kubuzi Designs mm -hmm. started, uh, what I was doing has, has been a hobby for some time. Mm. It started on social media. Yo, Facebook. Not even, I haven't been on Facebook for the longest time. Okay, Twitter. so what kind of, oh, Twitter, Twitter. all right. All it right. went from a picture that we were busy doing my brother's mother-in-law. I did a gate, I posted a picture, I got an mm. order. Then I got another order and mm. it, start, it started flowing from one single picture that I posted. Yeah. And then people started asking, no man, there's money in there, there's yeah. whatnot. And people encouraged me now and then. But then I started getting order after order. How many from... orders? You're saying order after order. Well, How right many now, orders are you actually I can having? Get, no, no, I can get a whole lot to a point that I need to. Tell me what's a whole lot. What did you get, what did you do last month? Last month. Yeah. Last month I had an order of uh, 10 bunk beds and 10, 10 wardrobes. Bed. 10 wardrobes. That what's the rain value on that? What's that? Rain value on that. It will be about 65. 65? Yes. Okay. That's, well, everything after everything was done, the delivery. Okay. I, I haven't really structurally, as far as business-wise, and putting these numbers uh -huh. to profit and revenue, however the terms are, okay. I haven't really put it in that sec in that structure, but I, I've probably made a uh, profit of 40 okay. plus. Okay. That's, that's kind of scary, first off, for me, because yeah. you're one man show. You are inside of your business. If you don't know those things that you're talking about, yeah. I don't know how you know that you have a business. But let's leave that alone. Sure. Let's, let's, let's talk about actually your business and the fact that it needs to expand. So if you're making 10 bunk beds and you know your, your production is consistent and steady, how are you meeting it? Only one fell. I say one anymore. Okay. Um, let's say I have... draw. Um, uh, and I, La France, eh. who I've been working with for the eh. past six, five months. Okay. What about you? What's your name? What's your during the week? Kapa, what's like a weekend to fill? Ten day with every day. Okay. Uh, France still has his um part-time job. Okay. Um, four days in, four days out. Why aren't you employing people full time? Um, you're burning yourself out. There is no way you can wear so many caps. Production back office, marketing. It is impossible. You're, you're only one person. There's employing more people coming, okay. um, starting with uh, France and Tendai. In my plan, I should have more people like that. Mm. Or as I said, I need, I need more of myself. I need to duplicate myself as much as I can. It sounds to me that you don't want to let go. When do you intend to have them full time in the business so that you can actually grow this thing? With Tendai, I have. Um, in the past month, he's been with me Monday to Sunday, Monday to Monday. And when uh, France is there, even the more better because now they can also help each other while I'm busy doing other so constructions. you have France, you have Tendai. Sure. Right? And then you have an odd 3,300 rand that you're spending on entertainment in a month. Okay. Okay. Why are you not getting even just one person that could shadow Tendai and the other guy? as they work. Why are you using one, the bank account, yeah. for your personal use? Right? To something that has, no, that has nothing to do with your business. Right? True. And then secondly, why are you not diverting these resources to where you actually need them in the business? Where they would actually help your business grow and, and reach the next height? I, I don't think I've fully realized um, the businessman part of me. Uh, yeah. I don't think it's there. I'm, I'm still a crossman. Yeah. The business mind of running Guzi yeah. Group, um, I can't boast on it. We're going to send you to a coach, right? Who I want you to speak to about these challenges that you're facing so that you can forge your way forward somehow, some way in the space that you're in. Okay? Sure. Right. Oh, thanks. My studio session with Akela today was unexpected. Um, I, it wasn't revised. I don't know what to expect. Generally, it was very necessary. Um, it's a wake-up call. Uh, you 
live and you learn, but most of the stuff that were pointed out were things that were just gnawing in the back of my mind. I just never got to doing them. The, the concern I have with the way things are, yes, you've mentioned you've got these two individuals who are helping as and when required. The one guy comes in, but the lack of structure in Kubuzi Group is, is a serious concern. man show you've done exceptionally well for yourself thank you what would you attribute that success to um i'd attribute that success to my past knowledge mm. my technical knowledge mm. from my um, experience with my father um and then i also i think i would like to thank mm. um the disappointments of the job offers that i had otherwise i wouldn't be here i'd still be joining the morning traffic every morning mm. Mm. um but I'm very um, specific and finicky when it comes to the way I work mm. and I try to deliver items the way that I figure it's good for looking and that way my clients can appreciate my items even more. Yes, yes. My first impression of Matsubani's business was that technically it's very strong. He's done exceptionally well with limited resources thus far. Uh, but I also notice that there is such great potential to grow the business because he is creating something unique. People love what he's doing. Uh, so there is room for growth for the actual business. You said you have a plan to move into a commercial area. So that for me is a very important component. So what are your timelines in terms of getting you into an appropriate space in order to be able to do whatever it is that you need to be doing to get top quality products? Um, the plan is um, by end of February next year. End of Feb, okay. okay. I'll be, I'd have moved out of the house. Yes. That way I'll have more space mm -hmm. and be able to, to do facilities where it's designated for painting without the threat of dust and repeating sandings um, of items to remove mm -hmm. particles. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Um, by the end of February, I will have my two employees by my side. I'm still looking forward to having a third one. That way we can be, mm. we can be four people in a, in a workshop. Um, okay, I okay. Start. So on that, just I want to hold on to that component of you'll have your staff formalized. The, the concern I have with the way things are, yeah. yes, you've mentioned you've got these two individuals who are helping as and when required. The one guy comes in, but the lack of structure in Kubuzi Group is, is a serious concern. If you don't empower other people to do it, it's at what expense? It's at the expense of overworking yourself, of even compromising the very quality you stand by. Because the moment you take in more projects, the moment you have other opportunities, your quality will suffer. So I think before you even move to structure, you need to clearly articulate what it is that you are building. Yes, you're building these contemporary furniture and you are the guy in the middle of it. But at some point, you need to be able to hand over to somebody else to somebody yes. else and if you don't have the clear vision people will come into your company they'll have their own ideas of what things are supposed to be like and alter to their own vision exactly oh. but then as the custodian of this brand you need to set the base to start with where you're saying when people come in I'm able then to say this is who we are this is the the, the, the rhetoric we are driving, and this is how you need to be executing. I'm very specific in how I need things to be done, and I think I'm still tackling it. I'm tackling it by letting these people work with me long enough, and once I see that these people can do these uh, items myself, I, I am able to leave them. I am able to go to the store and start ordering more material while I leave them with the likes of sanding and organizing and um, maintenance of tools and cleaning and the likes. So that's, those are the key, key, key components that you need to be, to be looking at uh, for your business. And I think that one of the, the greatest things that 
you have an opportunity of, for example, tomorrow then you will pitch for the 50,000. So as a way of preparing you there, I'd say things you need to really zone in on. Your business is very much uh, based on images. So yes. we need to see. We need to see, the judges need to see your furniture. So have a presentation, talk about who you are, what makes you unique, how you're gonna grow. But most importantly, what will you spend the 50,000 Rand on? For my pitch tomorrow, um, I'm thinking maybe I'm just gonna wing it. But I do have, I do have specific um, items that I need to point out. Um, first of all, what my challenges are now. And um, as I pitch, I need to show them, I need to show them my work, the best work that I've done, all my work. And then they need to see what I'm doing. And I'm hoping my products will speak more than my words. What's going on, Nguyen? I'm good, bro. I know. Kalaxi is what's going on. But one, I'm going to talk about the picture. What have you prepared? Um, I didn't prepare much, but I know that um, I know my work. Mm -hmm. I have the pictures that I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take them through the steps mm -hmm. of how these things are built mm -hmm. and what I need, my issues when it comes to running the business. Mm -hmm. And for those who don't know it, introduce my business of mm -hmm. what I do, where I do it, and how I run my business. Yes, sir. Izolo, you had a coaching session, and they gave you a few pointers and things to look at. Have you considered them for Ipichiako today? Not, not really. The ones that I'm going to use, um, that, that, that the coach did help me, I'm going to use them when I get to my business. Okay. But most of the stuff that she, uh, that, that she pointed out, I am going to use at the end of my pitch, mm -hmm. where I start uh, explaining due to efficiency and how the business parts run, because as far as the technical workshop, I have that, I, I have mm -hmm. that covered. Okay. Put one. You sound like you know what you're talking about. I hope I do. Hopefully, yeah. Futumunge na ngalena we pitch. Yeah, man. All the best, ne? Thanks, bro. Thank you very much. Bro. Go through. Go through. Go through. Welcome back. Oh, okay. We are going to give you four minutes to pitch your business to us um, for an investment of 50,000 Rand. Take it away. All right. At Kubuzi Designs, we're a manufacturer of contemporary, rustic, industrial uh, furniture and decor. We're talking in, uh, indoors and outdoors. What's unique about this company is um, when you do the manufacturing, there's a customized experience between the client and the manufacturer. This is not a mass production company. We're trying to make unique items for, uh, for, for clients for, uh, with their specifications. That way, we're also selling scarcity and we're selling it, uh, a certain craftsmanship that, is, is only, that can only be found at Google Designs. I can show you some of the items that we make. This is the page where I run most of my stuff. These are the items that are being made, uh, that are being made. We try to explain the process of installation. And there's also the making and the pieces, but let me just get to the main piece. This is a contemporary piece where most of the, um, the, the, the majority uh, substrate that I use is called MDF, medium uh, density board. It's a substrate that when, you, uh, when, when you're done using it, it gives the illusion of the, the piece being one and molded. Then you prime it and then you paint it to the color that the client needs. Then there's the use of melamine, there's the use of pine, or any other wood that's chosen and can be afforded by the client which also brings me to the factor that you, we also work with the client's budget and the client's needs and what the client can afford and adjust the material accordingly to the budget. From there, we get the, uh, um, during, the, during the build, you get consultation with the, with the manufacturer. There's a step of the construction, 
pictures are sent, then you choose, no, I need to change this, I need to change that. You, you're in control during the whole uh, procedure of the build of the, of the project. The reason I'm here pitching for, for, for the money is, um, as, as we were in the workshop, as the manufacturing of this piece was being made, was there's a lot of up, ups and downs um, uh, going to the store and coming back. Everything else is not centralized. I'm not running an efficient workshop. So what happens now is that I have to get cut. I have, I have to get a cut list. I have to send it to somebody else to cut it for me as these are, the, the, it, it decreases the human error of cutting boards with a millimeter or a degree too less or too much. That way making pieces look not as parallel and as, 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 as good as you'd like them to, do, to, to, to be. So from there, if I have the machine, it's, uh, it's a table saw, and any carpenter will tell you that a table saw is the main, it's the heart of manufacturing of any carpenter's uh, workshop. So with that table saw in the center of my workshop, with all the small tools that I already have, it will make it easier for me, it will save me time, it will make my workshop more efficient, more effective, and I will be able to produce more items per week, per month, making, me, making it easier for me to be able to absorb all these clients that are coming to me with requests and orders. I think that's all. You still have some time left, are you sure? I still have some time. Okay. Um, okay, I'll go back to the machine. The machine is a German, it's a German piece. It's a, it's a huge machine. It's, it measures between um, three meters and 3.2 by 2.4 meters high. The machine will be, will, will, be, will be used to cut all the substrates or your melamine. The time is up. The time is up. I thought, I thought I had a minute at least. No, you didn't. It's fine. Do you, do you feel prepared for your presentation? Um, not really. I came here thinking, uh, saying that I know my product, I will pitch my, project, my, my, my product and I will pitch out what I'm looking for and what I'm going to do with the, with the, with the money if donated to, to, to Kubizi Designs. You have pictures on Facebook, so you could have put together a PowerPoint presentation. That would have made your presentation flow beautifully, and you didn't do that. No, so I did not. you did not prepare for this presentation. Not at that point, no. Ladies? It felt like you were not prepared. It felt like you were not in touch with what you do, and it wasn't convincing. It really wasn't convincing to me. So, Martin, do you have any questions for him? Yeah, Matsubani, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm quite taken aback. Um, I was really looking forward to... The presentation. To an incredible pitch. Mm -hmm. But anyway, be that as it may, we are where we are right now. Let's move along. Your table saw, you'd be able to... It's a German piece, etc. What is the cost of this table saw? The one that I saw as a second-hand piece went for 85,000 Rand. 85,000 Rand? What are you currently spending on sending the, your work to someone else to have this done? I'm spending, we can say, around about 50 Rand per trip. Round about? Yes, it's not. How a, much are you spending? Put it at 50 Rand per trip. There's also the factor of now I can't uh, have mass orders of the, of the piece of wood because you can only cut the wood that is bought from the, from the retailer. So you order what you need to from the retail and the, the it retail. comes ready to you? Yes. What is the cost saving that you will make as a business if you had a table saw? I haven't put it into numbers and cost. I know that it will save me a whole lot of hours, giving me the ability to produce more items. So I do not have an answer for your question. Matsubani, you do understand you're pitching for investment? Yeah. Yes, I Did am. Did you understand that before you came on the show? Yes, I did. Okay, so how come you don't know your numbers? What is um, the most important thing when you're pitching for an investment? It's the first pitch that, I make, uh, that, that I'm making, and from yesterday I had a sense that I don't, I don't really have grasp on what you guys are expecting. So I came here, I, th I decided, no, I will pitch what I'll pitch and what I know about the work running and the times and be able to produce more items, yeah. but I... I don't know if I figured that I didn't have enough time, but I, uh, I figured that what I know is what I'll pitch, whether it works or not, and take it from there. Matsabani, yesterday, we spoke about your finances. Yes. Right, and we spoke about the fact that there's a bit of financial mismanagement in your business. You said nothing today. 
to put me at rest that should I give you this investment, it'll go into the right place. Why, why did you not focus on financial management at all in your pitch? Um, with financial management is I didn't or couldn't pitch into it. When you asked me that question yesterday, ever since I started my business, I never thought there would be anyone or any person or entity coming, coming to me and asking me what, I, what, what I'm doing with my money and why I'm spending it this way. Um, I had from the beginning told myself that I'm not gonna go out looking for government projects or funding or whatnot. I will base my business on my clients. My clients will run my business because most of them are individuals. It's only once where I got a corporate deal. Asanda, do you have any questions for him? You had time. So yesterday you did have a bit of time to actually understand that fully mm. and put together something. Why did you not do that? Um, well, when I, when I left here, as late as I did, I left and I made sure that I can still do some work and cover up. So I started putting, constructing a few pieces. Um, six o'clock when I left, I made a delivery, came back at half past 11, it's not an excuse. But I told myself that no, um, I came back, took a shower, sleep, wake up in the morning, and then I'll deal with it then. I got here an hour earlier, tried mm. to come, uh, come up with a pitch and be prepared to explain exactly what I'm going to do with it. Mm. As far as getting the numbers, I, I don't know if I didn't have enough time or just the know-how. Give us some time to deliberate um, about your business, about your pitch. Yeah. and whether the investment would be worthwhile and we'll call you back in a moment. All right, thank you. The pitch was not shocking, it was expected uh, and I, regardless of everything that happened, uh, I was quite grateful when I got the first email that I'm going to be, uh, uh, you guys are going to be making a business profile of me. So the marketing side and the exposure side that you guys are going to give me, I'm quite grateful. sentiments about how his pitch went but Asanda you spent time coaching him on what to do in his business on how to pitch on where to focus what do you think about his pitch today um, it didn't cover the stuff we spoken about yesterday and I think the, the the red flag for me is the fact that he doesn't seem to have a grasp of his business yeah he does have a grasp of his furniture he knows yeah. how to do that bit but he doesn't understand the business part of it and that is a concern mm. that is a concern for me What's okay. when we spoke earlier on you seemed confident like you had a plan went in your picture then it just didn't look right it didn't sound right mm. what happened it was the plan i think cameras change everything the mm -hmm. confidence and i think not only the cameras just the judges standing there just elevated your, um, um, you, you become more anxious, you, you just worry about everything. So I think it was a problem of how it sounded in my head and how I mm -hmm. delivered it with my mouth. But what I said, I, I, it, it was the general message mm -hmm. was sent through. Mm -hmm. It's just that in a, in a less confident way. Yes, sir. Are you happy that his plan on how to spend the 50,000 would put his business in a better place? I think I understand that business mm. a little bit yeah. um, because I've coached in, in that space. So, but I would have liked to see what difference it would make. I, yeah. if, you're not, if you don't mm. have a cutting saw in that type of business, mm. I yeah. know that it's critical, mm. yeah. right? Mm. So I don't have an issue with where he's spending the money. Yeah. He would probably save between 15 and 20% yeah. having his own, or that, you know, increase his yeah. business by 15 to 20% yeah. having his own cutting saw. Mm. Um, but he doesn't even know that. Yeah, he doesn't even the, know that. Asanda, what challenge. do you think? There may be other areas that would could do with the immediate uh, funds right now. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't have, he has got one and a half staff members. I'm pulling yeah. it a half mm. because the other one comes in yeah. as and when. So that could be an area because currently he, he can't even meet the current demand yeah. because he doesn't have enough hands. Yeah. So what I'm saying is he, he should have taken a process of saying, okay, if I put this in place, this is what it would help with. If it's the machine, this is what it will help with. And then based on yeah. that, decide how do I start? Do I start with the, the manpower? Do mm. I start with the machine? Do mm. I start with the finances? But prioritize and have a plan yeah. where I'm saying in the next two months, this is what I'll do. And then from the savings I get, I'll use that money and then get yeah. the next thing. So it doesn't feel plan. exactly, it yeah. doesn't feel like he's planning.
planned it mm. as best as he could have. Um, let's put you out of your misery. Yeah. Only people that can tell us if you're going forward or not will be the judges. Ama judges. Now, Baboni Lemvagwe to Baglindile. They're waiting for you, Putuam. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Short. The planning was insufficient. You didn't find out what you needed to do. You didn't find out who you needed to do it to and what it is we'd want from your pitch. And that was very disappointing. Judges, any feedback for me? Um, I'd say, Matsubane, the same passion and drive you have for creating your crafts, if you could put half of that into wanting to learn more, then you will go far as a business. Thank you. I really had my money on you, to be honest. Um, I love the business. There's a lot of opportunity in your field. So um, just think about it. You've got great potential mm -hmm. and great opportunity for expansion into your business. Mm -hmm. yeah. Particularly if you look at all the boutique hotels and all of those things that's grow going up right now. Um, you know. You need, to, you need to really just retreat and think about where you're wanting to take this business because I don't believe that this is where your business is going to end up mm -hmm. if you put the right energy and effort into yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. We've decided on a few actions that you need to take. And I'm going to ask your coach, Asanna, to take you through those actions. Okay. So first and foremost, you need to decide if you really want to drive this business. You're good as a craftsperson and you've acknowledged that you're not as strong in the business side. But what does that mean? Does that mean you bring in someone who is or does that mean you just want to continue doing things as you're doing them currently and just focusing on the tech component? So you need to decide on that. Second point you need to really focus on is you need to surround yourself with individuals who will help you grow. So by helping you grow, they can help you grow in different facets of the business. Be it a board of advisory that you put in your business or a mentor. The decision is entirely yours, but you do need a formal structure mm. to help you in your business in order for you to be accountable, mm. not only to yourself, but to the business itself. Mm. And when you put that in place, I think it would really, really make a big difference mm. for your business. So unfortunately, Matsubane, you're not coming back. But we're doing this just for you to take yourself seriously. We're doing this for you to take a, a point in your mind. Oh, you know what? I was once on this show called Making Moves and I didn't do well. And I'm going to be teachable and I'm going to carry on with my craft. I know you'll do well. All the best. Thank you. Nothing but the best for you. Thanks, Coach. My overall experience with making moves was had a lot of aspects and it. it was fun. It was very dynamic. Um, I learned quite a lot. It was a first time experience, so to me it was both overwhelming and a learning curve at the same time. First thing when I'm going to get home is make sure that I jot down everything that I've learned in the past two days. Well, not only the past two days, as I was talking to the Making Moves crew and, uh, and people as the show went on, jot down all those things and have them as, as, as a plan that I need to start implementing. When I get to a point that I've figured, no, I have a workshop, I have the machinery, now I'm ready to absorb all these clients and regardless of, I need to shift from catering for just the clients and remember that not only am I giving clients what they want, but I still have a business to grow. Ikamala Musabelo, or Hotel is born. A business Ilim called Kalegu Register on twenty twelve. The Zela Galu operator from twenty thirteen. Our services as well as our Limco logistics, as it delivers, it is based on agriculture. 
si deliver ko na ma product a a a a suge e e e kishwe ama farmers kuto ago wa manje e e sagwa zukwenza si sa deliver ushuka kain ne timba ogu izona zintonje na manje sa sagwa zukuti deliver jenga manje si operator na ama truck ama ane ama horse and trailers of a dingo court fourteen umoba wa yetu su tatala e kranskop the farm lay in the zones, a man in a sugar sugar, so we are going to keep lab a bus with a seven zelagon and this was cut. Then it started sugar cane lapo, a so tata so is a so deliver a glad or sugar meal, a stang, which is a seventy to seventy five miles or eta, also so eta in the Bazama zone, seventy five kilometers from here. So local squares are on a twenty four hours cycle, I see a go who to says meal and clam. So I have employed a uh, driver, driver about eight. Besa kuba nuga nine osuge reliever. Ogu yeno o o o o hamba i track long and track long e uguti ingeskata banye be offa kunge no mo. Indi mengi tala la galim ko logistic. Ki driver i track e o cut fourteen. O shuti la galim ko ge kalengo twenty thirteen. Agzotin jang ge sa sa banzala na a zeke ge namba eske slanga besa na kse uguti ne. Sasabanzak. <laughs> Kala kwa mi business ingi si zoeka kulgazi i i i tala intebi e e engi tanda kwa kulunga bogo tiba kwa zungu ugu lale la bagni giskato we tazwa wena if uzo kwa zungu representa kwa na ngelele i yo day like ba 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 kwa zungu si zaba kubega na baglegele then i tala la kwa zungu tige ling ling si zinga finance lang tenge la matrak lang ngeza na capital lugo tiba kwa zungu kala ki operate office. Manga bogo tinto ya kuzo yenza uzagbono ya kuazu we present agbono ngenge lezo ba nilis a a nko lugo tu kwa mtu ngegal tolo sezo kwa. If you are an entrepreneur and would like to be featured on the show, contact us on makingmoves at sabc.co.za or visit our website.